You can now create fully customized, beautiful illustrated children's books using readkids.com. With just a simple prompt and a few clicks, you can bring your imaginative stories to life. So stick around to learn more about ReadKids' exciting creative features. Plus, they have a limited a special package to everyone who chooses to sign up using the link in the description. So once you log into your ReadKids account, this is their main dashboard. So under the AI ebooks, we've got three features. The first feature is the AI generate with this feature this is where the ai creates the entire story for you all you have to do is just give it a few details like a title or a theme and the ai will write the entire story for you it also suggests illustrations that match the story making the book creation quick and very very fun apart from the ai generate we've got the use my story now this feature lets you bring your own story to life all you have to do is write your own story and read kids turns it into a beautiful picture book you can add illustrations illustrations, customize layout, and design it just like the way you would want it. Then finally, we've got the template feature. With the template feature, you can start with pre-designed structures. This is where you choose from ready-made templates with themes like animals, adventures, or learning. Simply add your own text and illustration to customize the book for your own needs. And when we scroll down here to the bottom, you can find a number of pre-made templates where you can get some inspiration from. These templates are fully customized with captions generated with the same AI tool. So in our case, we're going to start things with AI Generate. We'll click on it. It will bring us to the Create a Story interface. Here are the number of few settings that we have to play with. Number one is the age. You can select the age group that you are targeting. I'll leave it to six to eight. Then from there, you can come to the type of story. Is it bedtime, fairy tale? I will select education. Education works best for me. Then here we need to choose the writing style. So I think a heartwarming is okay with me. Apart from that, we need to choose an aspect ratio. I'll leave it to 16 by nine. So in this text bar, this is where we need to describe the story or the theme for our story. As for me, I already have a theme, so I'll just paste it here. And my story prompt says, write a kid's story about Max, a greedy dog who finds a bone and proudly carries it. While crossing a bridge, he sees his reflection in the water, thinks it's another dog with a bigger bone and drops his own. Max learns to be content and value what he has. As you can see, I've used about 257 characters and the max is 300 characters. From there, I will click on AI generate to generate the entire story for me. It may take some few minutes, just be a little bit patient. So one thing you must put in mind is the more detailed your story is, the better the AI will generate the story for you. So once the platform has generated the entire story for you, what you want to do is reveal the story. So here I've got the intro and I've got another day in the story up until the part where the bone fell into the river. One thing you should put in mind is this is AI and it may not generate everything perfectly for you. This is where your human touch comes in until everything is well refined together. And once you're done going through the entire thing and you are content with how everything is looking, click here where it says refine rows. And here where it says extract rows, max an animal which is a dog, we'll just click on confirm. Now first row here, we've got the name of our protagonist who is Max and the categories are he's an animal and the type of an animal is a dog. Then from there we've got the second row we've got some tattoo in the story as just supporting characters then once everything is checked what i simply do is click on confirm so make sure as you are confirming you're very certain of all the details that this ai has generated for you because once you confirm there is no modification that will be done afterwards on this part so just click on confirm you click on next and it will bring us to the next part where we need to choose the style of illustration for our book the number of illustrations that you can pick from so just take a little bit of time and go for something that you personally have a touch with or connection with and something that can resonate well with your audience i'll select the child's like style it resonates well with the audience that we are targeting so I'll click on it and from there, I will click on the next button. So from there, it takes us to the third step where we need to set our character images. So we've got our protagonist who is Max the dog and we've got a supporting character who is the tattoo. You can edit the name of your supporting character, but I'll just leave it the way it is, same applies for Max. Then it will cost me 60 credits to generate the images for my character. So I'll click on generate. So it has finished generating the images for our protagonist. 
who is Max. We've got the first one here. We can take a look at the images that it has generated. I really love these images and it's kind of like hard to decide on which one to go for. I really love how the first one is looking. Also love how the fourth one is looking. What I'll simply do is I'll go with the first one, which is you one. Then from there, I will come to the title and we'll generate images for the title. So click on generate again. Okay, it has finished generating the images for our, our supporting character. If it were you, which one would you prefer? Would you prefer the first one or the second one, the third one or the fourth one? Let me know in the comment section below which one you would really prefer. Based on the features they have, I would go with the first one because sometimes as AI is generating images for you, it may start with good quality images at the beginning but as it flows further you find that it starts giving you these distorted images so just to be cautious and so that we can not have a lot of work to deal with i would go with the first one so i'll select u1 as well and after everything is done what we'll simply do is click on the next button so these two images are the ones that will be used throughout our entire story as it is generating the entire subtitles and the images for our story Click on the subscribe button, that's if you are new to our channel, and let me know in the comment section below how you're feeling about this entire process. So once we are done setting our character image, this is the fourth part, which is the final part, where we need to edit the entire story for our book. So here you can edit any part that you feel like editing, for example, the first part here, if there is something that has been left out, you can just click on it. So you can type in anything like cool. In a cool sunny village, Max, the curious golden retriever, lived happily, but I would delete it, I'll leave it just like the way it is. You can also add a part by hovering your mouse here and clicking on this plus icon, that's if there is need for that. But in our case, there is no need for that, so I will just delete this part here and it will return to the way it was. From there, what I'll simply do is I'll click on the next button here at the bottom. Okay, so once everything is done, it'll bring us to the next part where now we need to generate the images for our story. Now, we've got a prompt that we can use to generate the image. This prompt is editable, so if there is any way you feel there is need for you to add just, you can simply do that. So in our case, we'll leave everything as it is since we've gone through the prompt. Then we'll click on the generate button and we'll wait to see the images that it will generate for us. So you can scroll at the bottom and click on generate to see the images that it will generate for the second prompt okay so it has generated four images for us we can click on the images to preview how they look if you're not happy with the images that it has generated for you you can simply play with your prompt like i said earlier and click on the generate button and use the images that you feel will be suitable in your story i select this image here I think I really love how this image looks so just close this bar and I'll upscale number two so this is our image from here I'll simply click on confirm so I can also download this image into my PC by just clicking on this download icon in case there would be need of me using the same image on another scene. From there, I'll scroll to the bottom and I'll read through my prompt. So after reading through my prompt on the second part, I'll click on generate so that I can see the images that it will generate for me. Again, it has generated the images for us. So what I'll simply do is I'll play with my prompt, tweaking it a little bit and from there click on generate and compare which images I would love to use between the two generated ones. So we can compare the two between this first set and this second set. So if this one it has got the front view and this one has got a wide shot. So which one would you prefer if it were you? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. Since in our first generation our image has got a wider view and in this second image I'll select this one which has got a front view so i will go for upscale 4 so it is that simple from there i will click on the confirm button so that this same image can be used in my book so it's that simple this is the same process of going through our prompts and generating the images until we get those images for our entire book so there were some parts where i generated more than one set of images so that i can get that footage which would be perfect for that particular scene like on this scenario and there are many other scenarios that i can show you now once our story and illustrations are complete it's time to fine tune everything so what we're going to do is we'll click on the next button here at the bottom 
So on this editor too, this is where a lot of adjustment can be done, like text placement, text style, font color, even the overall layout. So on our text here, what we can simply do, we can click on it and we'll have all these text editing tools like we can start with a font we can change the font style we can select something that really resonates with the audience we are targeting not only that we can change the font color here and we can move our text and place it anywhere we would love to just those common text editing and we can also add some stroke to our text and we can also add a background color to our text maybe black but we'll just leave it to transparency we can also choose the opacity of our of our text not only that we can also add a cut color that's if we want to add a cut color for example we can choose a uh, uh, red then we can minimize our our page we can see that red in the background that's if we want it to be like that but i'll just click on undo and i'll leave everything just like the way it is but sometimes it's fun and not only that we can go to the next page again change the text color the text font just like that we can add an audio that's if we would love to turn this whole book into a video i have seen a big youtube channel which does exactly that where they turn these same books into a video and an audio is reading through the entire book and they are showcasing it as a video and they get millions of views and we can also add some images some icons that's if we'd love to we can also add some texts that's if we'd love to add some texts anywhere on the image not only that we can also add some background music just like i have mentioned of a bigger youtube channel we are basically done designing and creating our beautifully illustrated book using readkids.com so to save our book what we can simply do is click on this icon and her book will successfully be saved then from there let me let me let's present it to see how everything looks so when i click on next okay this is just amazing okay very excellent bravo 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 so let me close the book well illustrated well finished well created in using a single ai too so from there you can come to these three dots here on top and you can export it as an image or export it as a pdf file so let's start with a pdf file and somebody was asking me, can you sell these books on Amazon KDP? Yes, you can sell these books on Amazon. That's if you choose to sell them on Amazon. Our book is successfully downloaded into our PC. And so what if we wanted to make a video from this entire book? Okay, so to generate a video, what we simply have to do is click on this audio icon. And from there, make sure that all of these pages have been selected. And once you select the pages, you can select a voiceover from here. I'll leave Olivia, who is selected by default, close this tab, then I'll click on generate. So once you're done generating audio files for all your pages, what you want to do is close this page. And from there, click on the generate video button here on top and give a name to your project. And from there, click on generate. So the settings will open up. What you want to do is first of all, select the effect style for your project. I think I'll select this one for little leaves. I love how the first one is. So I'll select the first one. Then from there, we need to choose the background music. So pay attention and choose a music style that resonates with what you've created. And once all the settings are done, just click on the generate button here. So our video has been generated successfully. Let's view our video to see how everything looks. Okay. Lesson of the Lost Bell. In a sunny village, Max, the curious golden retriever, lived happily. Max loved finding tasty treats, always wanting more than he could chew. One morning, Max sniffed something wonderful in the park, a big, juicy bone. Okay, isn't that no beautiful? Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, and let me know your thoughts in the comment description below. I would really love to hear from you. So if you would love to download this video into your PC, all you just have to do is hover your mouse to these three dots here at the corner of your video, and you see this download option here. So download it. So now you have two things, a book that you can eventually sell on Amazon through your YouTube channel, and you've got a video that you can upload on your YouTube channel. This is like killing two birds with one stone. Thank you, Read Kids, for sponsoring this video.
So this is how you can create your ebook using readkids.com. So when you go to your homepage, you can find your book here under my creatives, then ebooks, you find your creation here. Then the, the other tools that you can try out is the AI image generator, which allows you to generate your images based on your specific prompts. Then not only that, we've got the canvas here, which you can also take advantage. That's if you want to try building your book from scratch. From here, God bless you. Let me see you in this next video. Lesson of the Lost Boat. In a sunny village, Max, the curious golden retriever, lived happily. Max loved finding tasty treats, always wanting more than he could chew. One morning, Max sniffed something wonderful in the park, a big, juicy bone. With the bone in his mouth, Max strutted proudly, proclaiming himself the king of bones. On a bridge, Max saw his reflection and thought it was another dog with a bigger bone. Excited by the thought of a bigger bone, Max decided to drop his and grab the one in the water. Max let go of his bone, leaned over the edge, but the reflection didn't change. He lost his balance and fell into the river. Max yelped as he splashed into the river, surprised by the cold. Sadly, Max realized both bones were gone, feeling sorry for himself. A wise turtle approached Max, saying, Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have. Max sighed, understanding his greed in the turtle's wise words about contentment. Reflecting, Max thanked the turtle for her wisdom. As the sun set, Max promised to appreciate what he had and share with friends. Max returned to the park, playing with friends, finding happiness in sharing. Known for his big heart, Max learned joy in sharing, overshadowing his lost bow. Max lived happily ever after, gaining greater treasures in contentment and love.